to shut up. Oh, poor zombie. <laughs> this is probably for the rooftop. Thirteen cryogenics in the morgue. Well, this is a cheery place. Oh man, it smells like <clears throat> mosh pit and summer filled with <clears throat> cheese running in ball sweat. <clears throat> place with gag and maggot. I'm curious, what does play this smell like to an undead gentleman such as yourself? Leftovers! That figures. <laughs> nice mask. If I had time, I'd show off my King of Pop impression. Ow! Cause this is Thriller! Put it on. I can't go any further. Smells like Johnny Mutate cross a foot in a butthole. Pine freshener. Hee hee hee, you should be less stinky. Someone's thinking. Oh! Get it from a undead ass clown. Whoa, chill out. Oh, I'm sorry. You're a human ass clown. Hey, I didn't mean to scare you. Who the hell are you? You look like Tweak. My name's Malcolm, and you are Alvin, and I didn't kill anyone. Didn't say you did. I swear it wasn't me. What do you mean you didn't kill anyone? I meant exactly what I say. But no one accused you. I didn't freeze him. <laughs> freeze who? My... My hand slipped. Slipped on what? I panicked and pressed the reset button. Those things were about to attack him. And... Oh God. Ugh. Benson was my friend. I worked in cryogenics with him for years. I didn't mean to turn him into a popsicle. Have mercy on me. Just stay calm. I won't tell anyone. Really? Your secret's safe with me. Thank you. If you go into cryogenics, I might be able to give you something that'll help you out. I haven't even gone in there yet. Oh? These gloves. They're Medigeny Tech Standard Issue Extreme Temperature Resistant Safety Gauntlets. That sounds fancy. They give them to everyone who works in cryogenics. If only they could have made a suit out of that material for Benson. Oh god, Benson! Relax, I'm joking. Just take him. Thanks, Alvin. Everything's gonna be okay. We're trying to get out of here. There's a bunch of us in the security room downstairs. We're hoping to go up to the roof. And use the helicopter to fly to safety. You're welcome to come if you'd like. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm going out there with those walking corpses. You prefer staying here with the stench and the flies and the dead bodies in the bags? Eh, yeah. at least the cops in here aren't moving around. Well, that thing's moving! Plus, this woman's snugly in this bag. I'm not going anywhere. Suit yourself. How can you bear the stench in here? What stench? Oh, I don't know. The thick, lingering scent of festering. Uh, can't even pronounce it. I don't know what you're talking about. He's got no smell. Come on, man. It smells like an open Indonesian sewer in here. You can't tell me you're not at least bothered. I guess I'm used to it. In fact, the longer I stay in here, the more I think I like it. Ugh. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm fine. <laughs> you don't look fine. I'm just... just... 
Dying for a cigarette. Do you have one? Sorry, I quit. Ah! We should get one of the joints. Just remember, I didn't do anything. Sure thing. Yeah, I'd probably get a joint from the hippies. Alright. Number 15. Ooh. Ugh. Jeez, man. It's called as Norwegian black metal in here. But not as dark. If I still had a pair, they were shriveling up like a couple of hairy raisins. <laughs> Let's try not to spend too much time in here. Agreed. Can't enough being undead without being turned into an ice block. You're freezing this entire time. I've been carrying you around. So much so I think my butt cheeks are going numb. But hurry and put me back. I'll try and move around and get some beard friction going. Sorry, just had to stand up. My shorts were slipping down further and further until it starts to get some, you know, hurting your butt. Oh, poor guy. Ah. Oh. Gay. So I need time to go on there, so I can twist it, so I can hit the zombies. Okay. So I'm going to find something so I can tilt that. And I bet you I've got to give a... Can I put the gloves on? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we gotta let a zombie out. First, let's save it.
there is something on throws. Okay. All right, we got to get a joint from the hippies. Give it to what's his name, and he might give us something. What an sweet vision was that? Oh, this again. He. My nose is tingling again. What are they telling you now? Sorry, just made a big thud sound. The other way, shaft above us. There's some sharp mystical sins you have there, Ronnie. I know, right? We have to find a way to go up there and investigate. How exciting. Calm down. I'm lucky I'm here around to tell you where you need to go. If it wasn't there, you'd just be walking around in circles. Just no. Ah! Hippies. Oh. We're done in here. Let's talk to the doctor. Maybe he can give us something. Hey, you cleaned up nice. Hey guys. What is that idiot doing over there? There's no time to be loading around like a complete failure. Calm down, would you? Oh, we're not calm down, soldier. I'm gonna go over there and stick my foot so far up his... Shut up. We've been guarding the doors for days. With no rest and no help from you. I've been doing more important things. Such as, I've been, uh, I've been monitoring the situation. Exactly. Until you've been out here in front of the line, you can keep your mouth shut. Okay. Thank you. Did I come at a bad time? Yes. Well, excuse me. Oh, precious. Please give us something. Oh, God. Get off him, you whore. Hey, Donna. Malcolm. Thank you so much for saving my big, beefy hunk of a man. Gee, it was a pleasure. Maybe you're not such a creep after all. I mean, you're still pretty skeevy. Skeevy? Yeah. But I guess you're okay. Well, thanks. I think... Hey, you're awake. Hey there. You're the fella went and found help for me. Malcolm, right? That's me. The name's Bruce. I just want to say thank you. Don't mention it. Hey, don't shortchange yourself. I was in worse shape than a cheap room in a whorehouse. I feel much better now, all because of you. Seemed like the right thing to do. Well, I owe you one. What happened? Flew here from the docks. I was scheduled to make a specimen delivery for some German fella. Freaking Schleim, freaking Schleim, some crazy European name. When I was about to pack up and leave, a bunch of those dead buggers come walking in. They start tearing up the dock workers like it was feeding time in the old folks' home. I took the chopper off of the ground and didn't know where else to go. So I just flew here to the Medi Jenny Tech building. Guess you figured it'd be safe here. How wrong was I, right? Laid on the roof, came down the stairs, and there he was, a CO pointing a gun at me. CO of Medi Genitech? 
one and the same. He told me he was going to burn the building down. I backed out of there quick, smart, but I should be more careful. I fell downstairs and hit every step on the way down. That's impossible. This building's only 20 floors high. Hey, you're not a chopper pilot. You don't understand physics. Apparently that cop dragged me out of the, his stairwell. And I woke up here with that pretty nurse patching me up. I don't remember anything else. He flies out of here. Does the Pope use his hat as a turd receptacle? <laughs> of course I can. Chopper's still fueled enough and ready to go. The only problem is those rotten fellas. I'll do my best to clear the way. You sure you feel enough to flight? How many fingers am I holding up? Hmm. Fourteen. Ha! <laughs> Just messing with you. You ain't holding up anything. <laughs> Uh, what? Nothing. How's the situation outside? We saw a tower from the air. See, has been better days. She says she's had her destruction cherry popped. Forcefully. It's bad out there. People running the streets away from those rotting bastards. Widespread fires. Dogs and cats living together. We're lucky to be here where it's warm. And kind of musty. It's just me or is it musty in here? It's a little musty. Anyways. Where can we go when we fly out of here? Oh no, just the place. Where? Let me give... Get time to read it. Wow. All right. Okay. What to do now? What are you doing? Oh no! Randy's not here, but he left a note. It reads, Gone to restock. Don't steal anything while I'm gone. Well then. Oh! What's this? Oh! <gasps> Please tell me it's a screwdriver. It only took me bloody, what, 20 minutes? Christ! I spent like 10 of it messing with the... the, uh, the cryogenic room, thinking, oh, maybe I've got to freeze it, then touch him, and... Oh, that took longer than I thought. And on to the thing. Ah, <sighs> don't screw in time. Yoink! Hmm. Ah, oh, hi there. Hey, oh, sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, well, this is awkward. Hey. All right, now what? How about you? Oh, oh, you lost your thing. What's that? Sweet, free wrench. Oh, we can finally do the room with the heating. I do love the past, you know, you spend so long at one bit and then you finally figure it out and you think it's all going to go smooth from here. And it all, it's like a domino effect. It was a lot more frustrating with the bucket. 
not the bucket, you know, with the nails and the bleach. I'm going to save it before anything happens. Spent way too long. Okay, so... Heat for you. Heat for you. That ought to do it. Ah. Uh oh. So what frees you? All right, <laughs> we're going to be here a while. Oh, wait a minute. No. See, that's bullcrap, because it goes down by two right at the end. Wish I had my poker. Thank you. 
Hmm. I feel like I've missed something. Because it's uneven. I can... Ah! They seem a basic high-tech oven mitts. Here goes nothing. Alright, now what are we going to put in it? Guitar. You never know. First save shoot for a time and endurance from extreme heat. Put it in! I don't really need much of this. Ah! Oh, my eyebrows. It's getting hotter in here already. Right, shut that off. Ah. Oh. Alright, that should be it. Please! I must not have clicked it properly because I'm sure it said oh, it would melt. I'm pretty sure I tried it. Like, earlier. Mind you, I'm cutting this up, so I probably won't see it. I'm only cutting up the dead bits. Right, come on. Heat. Whoa, that's gone down by two! Ah, oh, finally! Look at this! Hey, no, 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 no! What are you doing? Get back there! Stupid! Seems to have thought him out, finally! Well, that ain't took so long. <laughs> I swear I went to the boiler and I tried the gloves on it. And it didn't work. Yoink. Rest in peace. We gotta be close now. Two more. This doesn't end. <laughs> hey. Oh boy. Not another one of these things. Hey. Keep it down, you'll get us killed. I need to tell you. There's something different about that undead dude. You're right, he has a weight problem. It's not just that. Did you notice the putrid gas wafting from his every port? Ew. How could I not notice? How am I going to get past him? Let me think for a second. Alright, I have an idea. What is it? And make it snappy. We're gonna have to take a closer look. Are you nuts? Yes, a little. We both know that. Why on earth do we need to take a closer look? Because I'm curious. Just trust me on this. No way. Come on, he's so out of shape. He won't really catch us even if he knows we're here. Alright, alright. Be careful now. <clears throat> this is nuts. Hey! Ah, <laughs> boom. Whoops. 
What the hell was that? I don't know, but it shook the whole building. Lucky we weren't standing on that light thingy. It's hanging by an ass hair. You hairy son of a bitch. You almost got me killed. I almost been in the upgrade world, Malcolm. You see, I knew he was going to explode. Did you know? Well, that's just great. I wish I could have seen that coming, actually. <laughs> Aww. That was mean. Okay. Oh, it's the CEO. Stop right there! Whoa! Moving on, muscle and you're on dead chair. I'm not moving. How'd you get in here? And what was that explosion? Don't tell me the party started already. What party? The fireworks. The big kaboom. The place is going to go up like a 4th of July. Not yet though. It's not supposed to happen yet. You've rigged this place to blow? Yep. Why? I've seen what's up there in the penthouse. And this is going to end here and now. What's in the penthouse exactly? It's... It's... I don't even know how to explain it. We haven't even gone up there yet. So let me get this straight. There's something in the penthouse. Shut up. Just because I greenlit the research doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. Oh, naughty boy. Anything to do with what? Another word and your Swiss cheese. What do you know about the penthouse? I know they're going to take over unless I stop it. It's all up to me now. Tied the readers baby down. Ha ha ha, they're all going to burn. How are blowing up the many Jenny Tech buildings stop the infection? Haven't you realised yet? They're all headed here. This building's the nexus of the undead. And it's all because of what's up there. In the penthouse. We're going to get out of here. There's a group of us uh, gathered in the security room. The hell you will! Everyone here has to die! That's not very nice. I don't care. You've all seen too much. You've all seen too much. That's not true. We can still get out of here. Don't you have a family you want to see again? Sure there's some way to destroy the undead without any more bloodshed. Nope. Besides, the captain always goes down with the ship. What about those guys behind the glass? Is the... Oh, shit! The other one's a director. Friends of yours? Why? They were complete assholes. I was stuck in that panic room with them for weeks. We lived on freeze-dried coffee and stale chocolate cookies. Not much of a diet. Tensions grew and grew until those two idiots started arguing about the share market. Something ludicrous about how our air freshener stocks. Going to sky up because of all the stinky undead hanging. <laughs> Interesting theory. Things got heated and they end up strangling each other to death. How does that even happen? Minutes later they came back and tried to bite me. Since then we're stuck out here with the rest of those undead bastards. I have to thank them though, being trapped out there gave me a kick in the backside. I know what I've got to do now. Alright, goodbye. Haha. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, funny man. I thought I'd see what's in the penthouse. Not a chance. I hid the key. No one's getting in there, no one ever will find it. Especially not you. You're not going to leave this room alive. You won't shoot me. You want to bet your life on that assumption? After seeing what's up there? I don't care anymore. We're all going to die anyway. 
What does it matter if I paint the wall within the brains of some... Punk. Hey! Get your hands in there, I mean it! Whoop! After I put you out of your misery, I'm heading up to the penthouse and I'll blow it all away. So... If I'm gonna die, then it won't matter. If you tell me where you hid the penthouse key, right? True. Very true. I hid it behind a satellite dish. Oh, in the little model! Guitar riff. Are you deaf? I said don't move. <laughs> hey! What the hell have you done? Uh oh. You can't fire for shit! Oh, oh, oh! It was determined. All right, we got a gun. You okay back there? I thought we were done for. We're fine. My car, on the other hand, it's going to cost a fortune to get her repaired. Your car is already on a mess pile of crap before we totaled it. You take that back. What do you mean, we? I thought you said I crashed it. Oh. Yeah, so I did. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. We need to find that penthouse key. Before he went for a stroll out the window. See, I said he hit it behind the satellite dish. I know exactly where it is. And I bet you we got to shoot off that last bit of thread. That's holding it. I know exactly what I need to do. So there was no way to go to the penthouse anyway because we would have needed the key. I can feel it, we're close. <laughs> 